Hey guys, so I wanted to do something a little bit different today and I don't know if anyone's done this before I haven't seen another Archuber show off her boyfriend's sketchbook before which is what I'm doing in case I haven't made that the title and basically I wanted to show his work because he does so much for me and I think he's an amazing artist and I think you guys will like what he's done that's it, so let's get into it Okay, this is gonna sound really corny, but honestly, Chris is probably one of my biggest inspirations in the sense that I remember when I first met him and I was like, how are you this talented? This is his sketchbook. I don't know when he started this one, but it's finished. Um, I think probably last year he finished it. It says, write nothing in here, embossed in case you can't see that. So it's a pretty cool sketchbook anyway. I think we got it in London when we were visiting one time sort of prompty stuff like write nothing in here, just doodle. And here, first of all, we have some great character designs. Again, I mean, this is gonna be pretty weird because I don't really know the thought process behind the designs and the style that he's chosen, but I can sort of guess and we'll see how that works out. This is all gonna be a surprise to him, so hopefully he likes this video and he's not like, take it down immediately. <sighs> Um, yeah, so he does primarily character design, but he's looking to get more into illustration. Yeah, so he does like lots of really nice cute characters. He uses a lot of different mediums. Here he's used Copic pens and inks. I remember this was actually for a commission for a local magazine. That was for that. And so he was doing some sketches there, some thumbnails. Is that the way or is that the way? I think that's the way. So here's some more thumbnails. Here's some messy designs with a ballpoint pen, I guess. Lots of Copics and just messing around with line and style. I think he has a very distinct style and he says he doesn't have a style and I think that's garbage. I think he does have a style. Here he has depicted me and it says, oh hi, I'm Steph. Please pass my sketchbook. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's done some like blobby stuff that um, I think you've seen Casey do and Hero of Ink, you've done that as well. Um, Chris has done that a few times in this sketchbook. Some faces. It's a good warm up to do. I really like this character. I really like the way it turned out and the colors. And I think he's used Copic pens and then maybe some paint pens here and some ink and then some pencil over the top for shading. And I really like that one, that's so cool. It's quite nice to look at somebody else's sketchbook and be like, yes, this one's amazing because it's not really, well, it is a little bit biased, but it's not me talking about myself, so it's cool. Here again are some random guys. I uh, really like the way that he's played with proportions here. I think that's something that Chris usually tends to do is pushing the boundaries of design. <laughs> I love this one. He's got the boots to pay the bills. And like just weird, really cool weird character designs, which I love. I don't know what this guy's about. Is that his eye? Is there a hole in his head? It's beautiful. This was for another commission that he had do about Gibraltar and I think gangs in Gibraltar, like in the 1930s or something. It was quite interesting. Here he's done like a little pencil sketch. Oh, look at them. Damn, girl. <laughs> I like that. Oh, there's the some fan art of the Binding of Isaac. Have you guys played that game? It's pretty horrendous, but I really like it as well. I think I just like the uh, the dungeons. Um, what's it called? Spawning, when it's just like random dungeon. Spawning, is that the word? More Binding of Isaac. I like the pencil work he's done here and the shading. <laughs> that guy looks a bit crazy. Here's another guy. I think that's slightly inspired by Binding of Isaac, like the eye and stuff. Little muscle guy. Again, you see pushing the boundaries of proportions and stuff, so massive hands, feet, little square dude, some nice shading on him. Some muscular women, I like those. I really like the sketchbook. I think it stops you from being so precious because it has got writings and stuff in it, so you can just be like, meh, whatever. There's pencils and I think he's gone over the top with a white pencil here to highlight certain areas. <laughs> this cool character design. I really like this guy. I think this is from Street Fighter, but I'm not sure. Let me know if I'm wrong. Could be his design. Could be based off Street Fighter. Oh, this is when he was reading One Punch Man. I think it's called One Punch Man. No, I'm wrong. It's called Last Man. Have you guys read that comic? Really nice style. Published by First Second, I believe. And I really love anything published by First Second. Have you guys read some of their stuff? Anya's Ghost. 
Uh, they do loads of stuff. I'm, I'm a big fan of that publisher. It was be my dream to be published by them one day, but I don't think it will happen. But you never know. Here's some really cool, quirky little guys. Kill me. So is everyone. I like this guy as well. Yeah. Like I said, Chris really likes character design. I think that he's gonna try and do some like background stuff this year and props and things like that to get more rounded um, portfolio, but I think his stuff is really cool and quirky. So if you're an illustrator agent and you're looking for somebody to represent, <laughs> I don't know why you'd be watching me, but yeah. Oh, here's the blob challenge again. You guys know that one. I really like this guy. Kind of looks like a Dracula guy but much better than nerdy Dracula. I love the shapes, they're so cool. Maybe you like that, hey Casey. Casey's rec most recent video was about doing this blob challenge, so. I love this one, it's so random. Just like a guy with a little ship on his head with little people poking out. That's so funny and cute. <laughs> this one is just bizarre, but I, I think that's brilliant. <laughs> More blobs. I did make some stickers of these actually last year. I took a load of them and I printed them all out and made them myself. And I think they like look really cool. Oh, this was for a comic that we were gonna do together. So I was gonna write this comic and he was gonna draw it out. And we had this main character who was like a little brat snob, like Victorian England. And then you had her little counterpart who was her maid kind of thing, but very dumb and annoying. And then you'd have like this sarcastic person to kind of play off. We never got round to doing that because I think we we were both working at the time so we were just we we're both trying to push ourselves to work and draw every day after work but it gets I mean you guys probably know it gets really exhausting and you kind of make excuses and then you see other people who can do it and you're like what how how have you managed it anyway we wanted to do this so it was gonna be sort of ghosty story so here's the character like undead yeah we were really into it and I still want to do it I think we can do it we're gonna do it guys leave a comment down below giving us some inspirational quotes and how we can get to it. Here's some more blobby challenges. I love these guys. This guy, I don't know why he has such a good personality. He's like, oh, oh, oh. he looks like he could be a, a, a character in Zelda, like, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. That's such a specific reference. I hope you get it. I like this motorcycle. Oh, I love these ones. Just more blobby faces. I think he was focusing on doing like different faces here. And yeah, I, I, again, the blobby challenge. I don't know, you guys probably know what it is, but if you don't, you just put down like a blob of a color and then you just try to draw over the top and make something of it. Oh, this was this guy from, is it Overwatch? Is it Overwatch or is it Heroes of the Storm? I can't remember now. This guy was came out as a new character on one of them. I think it was Heroes of the Storm. I should know because I played a lot of Heroes of the Storm. You're gonna tell me if I'm wrong, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, some more doodles of him and an original character. Oh, lovely. This guy is gross, but I can really appreciate the draftsmanship in this piece and the different colors and yes, I like him. Ooh, I like this one. It looks like, I don't know. I, I Again, I can't really tell you the thought process behind it, but it's cool. I like it. Um, obviously you just copy markers blocking out and then over the top with different colors. It's a cool little warrior guy. I don't know what tool he's using. Maybe Chris can explain some more down in the comments. Um, look out for him explaining. Yeah, that's right, Chris. You have to explain things now. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> he was making these and we were like amoebas. And they were just like these hot amoeba things. It's the really stupidest pun ever, but it could work. Um, here's some more characters. I really think Chris should make a comic. What do you guys think? Comment. Tell him. Push him. I love this one. It's so cool. I really like the lighting and stuff. It's very Akira Toriyama style of uh, lighting. I think Chris, that is a big inspiration for him. And yeah, some, a little fighter girl. She's cool. I like her. Oh, this was a cool guy. Chris made this and then I was like, you should do like props around him and stuff. You, like practice um, doing props. And I think you might not be able to see it that well, but there's some really cool props here. And then I think he colored and did this digitally, like scanned it in and fixed it up. 
I like this guy. You get like a whole thing about him. You understand who this character is. He's a little Sleemo challenger kind of thing for sure. You, you know that he's like the asshole of the story. <laughs> I think Chris was trying to get more into like doing backgrounds. I think we've all been there where we're like, oh, I need to do, start doing backgrounds. And I think he's done a really good job here. I think he is really good at drawing, drawing backgrounds, but you know, I'm super biased because I love him. This was a sketch a little illustration he did for his dad because his dad loves gardening so I think he did this to make like a birthday card or something and then he ended up with like sort of more this design and I think they're both really nice I think this is a really good illustratory style for maybe editorial illustration oh here are some more blob challenges I really like this sonic one the pops of color really make it work more blobby designs and a really cute little character girl here and I really like her. He's done this with red ink pen. Massive doodle page, just probably experimenting with that brush, red ink brush pen a little bit more. I really like pages like this because I think you can see like the thought process behind the art, like what's going on in their head, how are they putting line down, you can see their mind working something out. My lecturer used to say that art is sort of like visual intelligence. If you can see like somebody working out something, you can kind of see how their mind is processing the information. I really like that. Hee <laughs> chicken dude in space, love it. And obviously this this character is so cool. I would love to see a comic of her. I want to see more of her with her little like twig, twig weapon. I think like this would be me if I was like a warrior. It's like everyone else has massive swords. I just have a twig. Classic. More little doodles. I love these ones. Little doodles, random guys. I think this is a little onion dude in shorts. And I think that is Chris's Twitter picture or something because I recognize that one very much. He's a little doodle. I think this was for like um, practicing editorial illustration. Like it wasn't for anyone, but I think he was practicing looking at articles and drawing out things for them. This is an awesome guy. This might be in Inktober, I'm not sure. No, I think these are grey copics as well, but yeah, monochrome, monochrome colours. I love this one. This is one of my favourite ones he's done. I think it's just really cool, you can imagine this girl with these three skulls, and like maybe they're different personalities telling her to do stuff, and she has the powers to summon them. I don't know, I think there's just, never noticed the little dude's face here. I think Chris's characters always invoke like a story for me. Anyway, more guys. It's so strange, you just look at one thing he's done for me and I'm like, you're so good. This whole thing is just me going, you're so good, Chris, and everyone's like, shut up, we get it, you love him. <laughs> that is orange ink pen. Just really nice character designs. You could see a story of this guy, like he's uh, the hero of the story and he's in training and... Or maybe you guys see different things to what I see, I don't know. I'd love to make a discussion about Chris's work. I'll have all of the links for Chris's work down below. So he has Instagram and Twitter, which he mainly uses. So you can go check him out there. I like this guy, he's awesome. I can see all these like warrior guys being in a similar type of story. Oh, something, something special for your eyes here. Little slivery lizard man. It's creepy but it's good creepy, you know what I mean? It's just the right amount of creeps. <laughs> I like this one's funny. The proportions are really low for me. Nothing on that page, because it kind of bleeds through, but I guess that's quite messy. I think he was trying a different style here, and I can't remember, but I think he really likes this one. Ice cream dude. I think this was like a bit of a prompt. I think I gave him a prompt for this, and I was like, do a guy, and he has a little troll, and they're selling ice cream, and it's like, as if they're in a fantasy world and this is kind of a medieval period time and these are two guys collect ice cream. This guy is like a frost monster and he keeps the ice cream cold. Just cool stuff. Little wizard guy. I really like the style of colouring as well with the Copics and the pens. And I think all of these things were trying to come up with a story. So this could be like sort of a wizard character within the book. A little quirky wizard guy. Maybe they're all at wizard school. Wizard school. So just Harry Potter, but different. <laughs> Again, I'm not reiterating what he's told me. This is just what I'm thinking. Some more. I think that's the same guy practicing his widget. Widget? His widget magic. Everybody, I'm gonna write a book about a widgeting school, and you can't get me because it's widgeting. It's not wizarding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
Yeah, I think we're nearly at the end of, of this one. This is a, this is Morrison's Car Park by the Sea. So this is in Gibraltar. I don't know if you can see that very well with the pencils. Some naked dude on a super awesome skateboard. Some random doodlies. I really like them. Oh, I think here you can see again, like the thought processes behind the work. I can't, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's pretty funny. Some more pencily dudes. I think here he was taking that wizard, blue wizard face guy and doing some face references because I think he wanted to make more of him, like do a story about him. And yeah, some turnarounds of that dude, which is really cool to see. And some more, maybe pushing the character slightly. Vote now, A, B, C, D, E, F, which is your favorite of that kind of character? More doodles. I think we're coming to the end of it now. Well, look how cute that guy is. So cute. And that's the end. Tell me what you think. Tell Chris what you think, more importantly, down below. And that'll be really cool. And you guys should let him know what you think because I think his stuff is amazing. And this has been a totally cheesy, self-indulgent boyfriend sketchbook reveal, but I'm sorry, not sorry as well, because I really liked it. Okay, so there's a shoe there now, because my cats were fighting, and then like the shoe went that way, and um, yeah. ignore the shoe. But thanks for watching, guys. Please let me know again what you thought, and I will catch you on Wednesdays. I'm gonna do paint over challenge on Wednesdays, and hopefully a vlog on Fridays. So I'll see you then. Bye. Bling 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 bling.